Hey everybody. Um, so uh, my name is C. A. Priest. Uh, you can also just call me Chris. Uh, but everything I publish under is uh, C. A. Priest. So I'm not confused with um, Christopher Priest uh, because my name is Christopher Priest, and uh, Christopher Priest is already a, a prominent comic writer and everything. So I just don't want any confusion. Um, even though the work that he does and the work that I uh, am doing are vastly different because um, I, I focus on science. Anyway, uh, I wanted to start doing a series of videos covering science comics. And um, I went out today and uh, to a comic shop randomly. Um, it's, I guess it's not so random because I, I, I go once in a while. Uh, visit different shops just to just to see what's in there um, give myself a mental break from writing or working on the various different things that I do and um, while I was there I encountered something I was not expecting and uh, so there were there were two children's books that are that are very science-based and uh, they're very cute I like them a lot they're both by the same author um, Brad Meltzer, um, who writes comics, uh, or at least used to, but um, they're they're for little kids, and the the brand is ordinary people changing the world, and um, so this first one, I am caring, and it's all about Jane Goodall, and it's it's super cute, like you know looking at. Jane Goodall and and it goes through what she does with researching the monkeys and a little bit about about her life of being a kid um, and it, it's just you know it's a cute little kids book uh, geared for very small children I mean look see the, the thick paper and I mean it's meant to be durable for for small children to you know m mangle and uh, get sticky things on but um, I thought it was it was cute. It was definitely for little kids. And there was another one that was for a little bit older of an audience. And this one I definitely uh, dug into and um, because she's one of my favorite uh, scientists and that is Marie Curie. Uh, so Marie Curie is, is such a, a, a goddess in in, uh, in chemistry and physics and you know first woman to win a Nobel Prize uh, yeah so she you know her accomplishments speak for her speak for themselves but uh, and it's in the same cute art style um, it's by the same artist as well and uh, you know that this one covers more material about her life and what she does and how she grew up and it, you know it's it's definitely meant for a little bit older of a child uh let's see and there's one one page or a couple pages that i thought were just super adorable of her experimenting and experimenting and experimenting and they're all failing and then finally she gets one <laughs> it's it's uh really adorable uh, and it, it, you know, it certainly talks about how hard it was for her to, to break into chemistry at the time that she was, she was doing it, uh, just because there weren't that many women scientists and women were expected to be home in the kitchen and whatnot. Uh, but, but she persisted and she married someone, uh, who, you know, saw things in a similar light, Pierre Curie, and that they worked together and really, um, really did a lot of great research together. And them discovering the elements that they did um, and just a lot of really really great information um, and I, I think they're they're excellent for kids uh, so and it even has a little PBS kids sticker on there how cute's that I mean yeah I just thought it was was adorable I loved it um, and, and recommend it so you know if you have kids and they uh, and you want to expose them to some science stuff certainly certainly check those out uh, so in, in terms of like stuff that I've written uh, if you haven't read it before 
Um, I have one published thing out right now, which is Kim Mystery. It's a Kim Mystery graphic novel because I'm a high school chemistry teacher. I love chemistry. I love comics. Uh, just as, as like a, a pitch for the book, if you haven't read it, it's about two kids that get superpowers. And as they explore their superpowers, they learn some science and then use that science to fight a really big radioactive monster. Um, I love it. Um, you know, it, it, it covers some content that I cover in my classroom, so I can use it in my class. I'm definitely a big proponent of using comics in the class, and that's something I'll, I'll definitely talk more about later on in other videos. Um, but, uh, um, and, and I'll do, I'll definitely do one on how to use this in the classroom. And uh, today I got a thing of stickers in in the mail and I'll just share one with you it's uh love chemistry but um, all right so at the end of this month I'm going to have a Kickstarter for my second book called fire salt slime okay uh, and I'll be putting more information out there about it October 1st it's gonna go live and hope you know check it out and uh, you know, support science, support science and comics, and, you know, uh, I hope you like it, and I'll, I'll be making a video just, just specifically for that, but, uh, science and comics people, love it, and, uh, hope you love it too, all right.